Hi guys, JT here at Access Health and Fitness. Today I want to go over the squat with you, okay? And um, for the squat, I'm talking about the, the squat movement and the different types of squats and how our body moves, okay? So a squat isn't always equal, you know? So we have things like goblet squats, barbell front squats, uh, high bar back squats, low bar back squats. So our squat movement actually uh, changes slightly with, with each, each one, okay? So three things we have to remember. One, the type of squat that we're doing. So the four I just mentioned. Two is where the weight is, okay? So in doing a goblet squat, the, the, the center mass of the weight is going to be different to doing a low bar back squat, okay? And the third thing is the direction our tailbone is going to be pointing, okay? So this is an easy way to think of it. You think of a clock and you have six, seven, eight, and nine on the clock. Depending on the squat we do, depends on which number our tailbone is gonna point at, okay? So I'm gonna explain that in more detail now doing used with the weights. So first, let's go over the squat. For beginners, feet are roughly hip to shoulder width apart. Toes turned out about 30 to 45 degrees, okay? When we come down, what deems the squat, we're looking for ankle flexion, so bending of the ankle, bending of the knee, bending of the hip. Okay, and we need to what's known as break parallel. So breaking parallel just means that the hip, so you can see the crease of my hip here, has dropped below the top part of my knee. So this is breaking parallel. So here, I haven't broken parallel yet. Here, I've broken parallel, okay? Couple of little things to remember, you know, depending on your own hip and ankle mobility. One is not allowing the, the heels to come up because with weight, you'll have very little uh, stability there. And the other then is not to be hinging too far forward, okay? So you'll see with the, the low bar back squat and all, we are gonna hinge back more, but what we're not doing is hinging forward with the, the shoulders, okay? So we'll go over with the four exercises. So goblet squat. So what we're doing is the goblet squat, where the weight is, okay? So if we say the weight, your center of gravity is roughly over the tip of your arch, the high point of your arch of your foot, okay? Now, in a goblet squat, because I have the weight here, it's pretty much already over my center of gravity, okay? So I can just move this weight straight down and straight up, okay? So my tailbone, on this one, we're going to six. So my tailbone goes straight down and straight up, okay? Now, barbell front squat. Now, I'm only loosely just grabbing all these bars and weights. If you're doing it yourselves with weights, make sure we do it properly, as by the previous videos. So with the front squat now, the weight has moved slightly back compared to the goblet squat, okay? But yet, I still wanna bring the, the center of this bar over where the, the high point of my arch is. So there's a very slight hinge forward. So when I do front squats, I very slightly hinge forward. You can see my hips have pushed out slightly. So my tailbone is pointing to seven now on the clock, but the bar is over the high point of my arch. Understand? Okay, now, don't do this at home. So, we're not gonna go into too much detail the difference between high and low bar back squat, but the, the difference is roughly here to here, okay? But anyway, it, it makes a difference in your movement. So high bar back squat. So now you can see the bar has shifted well behind my center of gravity. So to bring it over my center of gravity, I have to kind of hinge forward a little bit to so come down. So now my tailbone is pointing to eight on the clock, okay? Now low bar, as I have to pull the bar down about two inches, the bar has also shifted back a little bit further as well. Okay, so which means I have to hinge just a little bit more, and this is more of an 8.5 on the clock. Okay, we're not going to a nine. So an 8.5, I still have to hinge a bit to bring that bar over the high point of my, my arch on my foot. Okay, so you can see the, the difference there between the four squats. And this is important because I often see, you know, uh, particularly when you look at crossfitters, you know, crossfitters are all about the, the mobility and ask the grass. But if, when I look at crossfitters doing kind of, they're trying to do low bar back squats, but yet they're trying to do it while squatting like a front squat. You know, so if you think about it, the bar is back here and they're trying to squat like a front squat, 
getting the, their ass to grass, but keeping the weight behind them. You know, so the weight is going to be behind their center of gravity, and it's just not, it's just not going to end well, and it's, it's, it's not going to look pretty either way, but you're also not going to be efficient. You're not going to be lifting the, the, the best weight you can lift by being in, in a, you know, an insufficient uh, or inefficient movement. Okay, so just be thinking about that. The, the, the weight is always going to be over your own center of gravity. Goblet squat, front squat, back squat, you know. So that's, think, think of that next time you're, you're, you're doing it. Any questions, just put them in the comments. You know, uh, just give it a, a shot and let us know how you get on.